Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 11th tutorial of Power BI. So we have discussed manage parameter in previous class and now we will discuss some more additional feature of Power Query Editor. So now we will study reference table and duplicate table and we will also learn some additional feature of view tab. So let's start the video guys. Let's go to the Power Query Editor window. So now I will talk about this manage option. You just need to click this small drop down. So now we can see three options are here delete, duplicate, and reference. First, we will talk about this duplicate option. So, firstly, I'll do some transformation here to create duplicate sheet. So, I just remove this column, guys, which is customer ID, and click remove. And now I click on this manage button and select duplicate. And I'll also rename this sheet which is duplicate. So you guys can see we have created a duplicate sheet. And now we will create a reference sheet. So again you need to go this manage and click reference. And I'll rename this which is reference. So what is the difference between guys duplicate and reference? So I'll explain here guys. So now I'll tell you what is the difference between duplicate and reference sheet. So now go to the original sheet and initially I have removed one column which is customer ID. So you guys can see in applied steps this step has recorded. Now go to the duplicate sheet. And now you guys can see the same step has recorded over there. But in reference sheet, there is no step has recorded. Transformation has changed, but no steps has recorded. So this is the one difference between the duplicate and reference table. Now I'll tell you one more important difference of reference and duplicate table. Now let's go to the original one. Now I am splitting this date column. So click this date column and go to split column and we will split by this delimiter and our delimiter is backward flash then click ok now you guys can see our column has split it into three separate column so now go to the duplicate sheet so you guys can see there is no change in date column it is still same now go to the reference sheet. So you guys can see whatever changes we have made in the original table that all are done but no step has recorded. So these are the two major difference between duplicate and reference table. In reference table there is no step has recorded but in duplicate step has recorded. And in original whatever changes we have done it can be seen in reference table but it can't see in duplicate sheet. So these are the two major difference guys. Now we will learn some more feature about Power Query Editor. So let's go to the view section guys. And here are some features guys. So we will explain one by one. Now first we will learn about monospace. That means once you click it. That you guys can see. There are some space in every value. So once you click it. Now you guys can check the quality of the column. Like 100% are green. There is no error in this column. And there is no empty row in this column. So in this way you can check multiple columns. After clicking this column quality. And here is an option called column distribution. So once you click it. Now you guys can see. We can see the detail of the column. Like there are 5 distinct value in this column. No unique value in this column. So in this way you can use column distribution. And you can check the detail of the column if you want. And the last option is column profile. So in this way you can also check the profile of the column. Which is in this column we have a 20 counts. There are no error, no empty space, 5 distinct values and no unique values. So let's go to the product column. So in this way you can also check the profile of the column. Like there are 20 counts, error is 0, empty is 0 and the distinct values are 4. Which is milk, fruit, chocolate, bread. So in this way you can check the column profile. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned many things about the power query editor so i will upload full power bi free course to my viewers with more additional features and no need to join any institute and no need to pay anything to anyone we will also provide interview preparation material after ending this course so stay tuned with us and please support this channel and please share with your friends and family who really want to learn power bi from scratch